So, you want to create a controller like this? You've come to the right place. To merge two NURBS, let's create the NURBS first. Once doing that, select one of the NURBS and rotate it 90 degrees by holding J and rotating one of its axes. After we've rotated the NURB, let's freeze the transforms by going to Modify and clicking Freeze Transformations. Now onto the merging part. Click the Display option in the Outliner and select Shapes. You'll notice that the NURBs have a plus sign next to each of them in the Outliner. Let's expand all the NURB groups by holding Shift and clicking on the plus sign. OK, let's create an empty group by pressing Ctrl plus G. Now that the NURB groups have been expanded, select each of the NURBs inside the groups and then select the empty group that we've made. Go to the MEL command and type the following, parent-r-s, and press enter, and there we have it, our own custom controller. When using controllers for rigging, it is highly advised to put the controllers inside groups and move the controllers from the groups. That way, the controller won't have any changes to the transforms and it'll be easier to constrain in the rigging process. Did you find this video helpful? Please consider supporting me by leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you for watching.